Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so... I've been a little busy the last couple days and I apologize for all of that. But I have some good news and some bad news. But overall, I think generally some pretty decent news. Um, I think I'll be back to a somewhat normal... I, I, I keep saying this, but... Uh, you know, things just keep on happening, I keep on getting busy with certain things or whatever, but I generally try to keep up with the episodes, but, uh, something always comes along to overwhelm me, so I, I'm sorry, guys, that's, that's all I can say. I constantly apologize for not always having videos up every day or every other day, but, uh, I really do try to get a video every day, but certain things always end up happening or I encounter some kind of crazy problem or something like that or whatever and uh, yeah so I've been messing around with the modded series a little bit and I really do appreciate the comments on what kind of mods I should really try and everyone keeps asking well what kind of mods do I want and uh, basically anything I mean as long as it's not too uh, intrusive I'm okay with that basically and, um, I mean, when I say intrusive, I don't mean as far as changing the game in any kind of way. I mean more so, like, I won't get mech jab or stuff like that, or flight engineer, I believe it is, or something like that. I, I'm not going to get stuff like that, but if it's, like, as far as parts are concerned and stuff like that, or whatever adding, as long as it adds some kind of new aspect to the game, I'll consider it, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, certain things I won't add, and, uh, you know, one of them I believe that was recommended was, uh, whatchamacallit, I think we just ran out of fuel in this stage, yes we did, staging, stage, there we go, see you later, uh, yeah, no. So, the mod that, I, what was I talking about here, I, I just completely lost my train of thought, as long as they're not too intrusive, or if they, like, the aspect of the game that I'm talking about that they would add is something like life support stuff. Like, I am actually very interested in the life support stuff, like having the ability of uh, having oxygen and stuff like that, and having very realistic missions and stuff. Like, I think that's really cool, but I won't add it because it... Keythane, I don't think, supports anything like that. Not unless if, in their mod, they have something specifically dedicated towards Keythane, so then you could produce oxygen, or something along the lines of that, where you can keep them alive, or whatever it is that they breathe. I'm not going to say it's oxygen, but yeah, whatever. So, as long as the mods all work together, because I really did I looked, I had somebody recommend the, uh, you know, the air mod, or whatever you want to call it, or the, uh, you know, life support system mod, and, uh, I, I was just, I was like, oh, well, that would be really cool, but I don't know if, I, I didn't really look into it, so I could be completely wrong by saying this, but if it doesn't have anything that supports, like, Keythane to where I can, like, indefinitely basically kind of keep these guys alive, then I have kind of little to no interest in it because of the fact of that basically it's just uh let's see all right yeah get rid of that i'll see you later so we had a few problems uh i ended up installing a new mod so that really won't be covered very much this episode but it will be next episode i ended up getting the kerbal attachment system because you guys were talking about that and i thought it would be a very cool addition and I will cover a little bit of the Kerbal Attachment System the next episode and uh, where we're going to go with that. But for right now, we will be mapping Minmus because of the fact that my mapping of Minmus relies on my next episode on what I'm going to do. So, I mean, some of you guys know, I mean, I, I kind of want to build a moon base, well, a Minmus base, and, you know, kind of really extend out with the mods to see what I can get compared to the bases I've built in vanilla. So I, I want to really kind of get 
in depth with these mods as far as just mapping stuff so the one problem that I did encounter and I will show you guys you'll see that my map of Kerbin is completely blank along with the uh, map of the moon I will be adding those back there was only one little slight problem and how come I can't see that part of the orbit is there something there that I that, I don't know I, I, I guess I'm just like imagining stuff uh, well I, yeah I mean I can see that there's like a line there but I don't know what that I guess that's just from the rendering or something I don't know it's just probably some kind of graphic error uh, yeah so the, these two maps are basically gone I mean they're, they're not completely gone because I do keep backs up, backups of them because of this mod being very finicky uh, it, it really doesn't like it when you do certain things and I uh, one of the things I noticed is that if you like leave it running or something the uh, mapper and you end up like changing crafter sometimes sometimes it just kind of screws it up I don't know if it's just my game or I'm just encountering a bug you know once again you know every mod is always created with one computer it's not created with everyone's computer in mind so it could be just some kind of silly glitch or something I mean I run my copies or I should say the uh, my version of Kerbal Space Program is the most up-to-date one and uh, I try to keep it up-to-date but I know with mods depending uh, on the version sometimes the game isn't updated so because of that it screws up the mods if you install the old mod on a new version of the game because not everything's compatible and my save file for Kerbal Space Program is on my regular hard drive whereas uh, it's on my backup hard drive, not on the hard drive that I'm actually playing, uh, or, well, that actually oper has my operating system on it and all that other stuff. So that could be a problem. There could be a billion friggin' problems. I, I know that. So I'm not going to say it's the mod, the, the mod's fault. It could be my fault. I don't know. So I have been really just really been trying to make sure that everything kind of get saved and uh, with the maps at files I have been saving the maps so I have made the Kerbin map available I haven't yet fully mapped the moon uh, and once all the maps are basically up to date and set up that's when I will I, I want to have a complete map to upload for you guys I don't want to I don't want to upload a map that's like 90% done. I just want to have it 100% done. That way anybody could basically download the map, use it for something, and be happy with it. Or they could download the Maps app mod and then just drop the files in their save. Uh, well, their Maps at their Maps app mod and then basically just have all the maps instantly. So that's kind of what I want to aim for that. And uh, that's what I've really been trying for. So it's a bit of a problem and you know I, I'm trying to work it out but once again uh, certain things just don't want to work even no matter how hard you try and uh, if there's still gonna be continuous problems then I don't know how far I will go depending on if the mods will if the mods all play together and everything I don't know how far I'll go as far as adding new mods so that that's all I'm going to say for right now I, I really don't know what else uh, there is out there. I mean, I do know that there are like a million freaking mods for this game, so everything that you guys tell me, I'm more than willing to try out. It's just, uh, as long as everything plays together really well, I'm okay with that. So that was the bad news. I mean, it really wasn't that bad of news, but... I just wanted to let you guys know that. I mean, we did lose a couple flights. We had our orbiting moon satellite, which I will replace off camera. I won't relaunch one and show you guys all that stuff and subject you to all that boring stuff. But for right now, I think we should get ourselves to Minmus. I think we are more than... We have more than enough fuel. I mean, I'm not really overly concerned with fuel right now, but I don't really know I this rocket is basically the same one we used for the moon so 
there could be some problems with uh, getting it there, but I mean, we got all the way to the moon very easily with this setup, so I don't really see there being any other problems. So anyways, guys, I will see you once we get to Minmus. And we're back, guys. Amazing stuff. I, that wasn't really the most conventional mover, but... Uh, well, oh, wow, mover. Maneuver! Yeah, I'll turn this off. And... Um, map set? Oh, yeah, I, I'm, like, clicking on the... Oh, God, we gotta stop doing that. Uh, let's see, turn on the scan and the position. And we need to go to here. Now... This mapping shouldn't take too long because of the fact of Minmus, how far out our orbit is compared to, uh, you know, like the moon and everywhere else, but also because Minmus is very tiny, mapping it should take like three seconds. So, uh, the map for this one and the moon, once again, I will try to get a probe back out to the moon and uh, get one in and remap the moon well i still have the original map so it isn't going to take too long but let's see i'll just speed this up a little bit and you guys can see how mapping a smaller you know moon like this doesn't really take that long so i usually turn on if you turn on the pos it's like the positioning that will basically line up your map with where uh, like in where your location of your orbit is like how far away you are from and and where your position is over the surface of the uh the moon that you're mapping so it really it, it's amazing stuff because it really makes things a lot easier but you can see already i mean we're basically mapping half the side in basically one pass almost i mean it, it really isn't half the side but it's pretty freaking close that's all i can say so i don't know where the keythane mapping is going on i don't know if it's even mapping right now i let's see oh yeah it's active but we are running out of power so let's see we need to open these guys up that way we can keep on mapping Oh, I know these are clipping through the uh, struts here, but I'm, I really don't care about that. I, it shouldn't clip through with uh, when it's fully deployed, so that, that's all I'm going to say for at least right now. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, i got to show the grid here. That way we can actually see what we're mapping. And I don't think our orbit is one of the best orbits around Minmus, which I think I'm going to end up fixing here in a little bit. Probably when I get off camera with you guys, you can see it's like mapping certain areas all crazy and it's just not mapping it correctly along with the key thing. It's uh, really not picking it up in, in the spots where we need it. So, whatever. Let's see. I the My main concern right now, and I don't think it's on the uh, side that we need it to be but my main concern is with one of these uh, lake bed kind of style areas 
where it's very flat and there's lots of terrain where you can build and you can set up a whole base and everything. If there's Keythane detected in at least one of these where it's really flat, it doesn't have to be the biggest one. Uh, you know, in some place like this, if there's Keythane detected in there, uh, as long as it's a pretty big deposit, I will send out an entire base. That's where I will be building. So it looks like there's some detected right here. Uh, this looks like it's just uh, rocky terrain, but even if it's on a hill or someplace like that, I can build a uh, rover or something along the lines where it will go in there, mine, and then br bring it back to the base. Uh, as long as it's within a good proximity of it, uh, that's all I'm going to say, at least for right now. I mean, I know that not everything is going to turn out exactly the way I want it to be, but man, this map looks horrible but not not in a bad way the, the other thing too is that when you use time warp is it doesn't completely map it correctly because of the fact that the time warp is turned on it kind of spaces everything out and everything looks kind of silly looking kind of like with this keythane mapping going on right now it's not getting a full scan because of the fact that we are using time warp you can see over here it's even worse there should be at least a full line right here but you can't actually see it because of that um, the time warp so time warp does screw things up with these mods it, it's not actually screwing up the mod it's screwing up uh, the scanning because of the fact that you're speeding up the game and everything else so uh, it, it's really hard to do the mapping because of the fact that you, you're so prone to wanting to use the time warp feature and just speeding things up and it just makes it even worse because it screws up the maps so not in a bad way but you know whatever I, it doesn't really screw it up because all you have to do is just constantly rescan the areas over and over again and eventually you'll have a completed map but you can't just constantly use time warp and expect good results. So the other thing too that I, I don't know if I actually even showed you guys too is it actually has um, both of the North and South Pole pictures uh, and it also has basically the biome on it but for some reason it's not mapping it right now. I don't know. Like I said once again this mod is very finicky on when you're using it for certain things it just doesn't really uh like doing certain things in certain ways i i've noticed that at least so once again i don't know if it's the actual mod or it's my computer my setup or something but i generally always like to know it's on it's i always like to think it's on a hardware side it's never with the actual software that you downloaded or anything i usually always think that it's something involving my computer over the so the software or whatever I downloaded so anyways guys um, I'm gonna continue on with this mapping I'm gonna try to get at least a somewhat good keythane map as far as the ISA maps at um, for those of you who want the maps they may not be up the minute that this video is released but if you check back like within a week or two weeks or three weeks um, I, you know I'm just saying that will give you a better time scale on when the map might actually be up and be 100% updated. So if you check back in like a week or two weeks or so, uh, the map should be pretty much completed. So I just want to let you know about that. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.